just about set to go now. And starting this one, Lance Lynn. What do you have on him, Singy? Well, you can see his whip is a little above the league average. Not bad, but I think in this one, he's going to need to control that a little bit better. Try to limit hitters from getting on base. Stay in that windup instead of the stretch. And when he does allow base runners, be able to throw a pitch. He's going to get a swing and miss, get out of the inning so that a base hit doesn't do more damage and put his team behind the eight ball. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. One up, one down. Here's Dave Martinez lineup for the Nationals. Singy, we're looking at a really young lineup here, so not much experience, but it also means they're going to bring a lot of energy to the table most days. Well, we're in a golden age of young players. I mean, these players, they're getting up to the majors. They're dominating from a young age, bringing home plenty of hardware early in their careers. I mean, before they even get to free agency. So, you know, when you consider all of that, I love seeing the kind of energy that a team like this brings to the yard every day, day in and day out foul ball got him swinging had him way out front of the slur now that pitch wasn't even close to being a strike and that just goes to show you how defensive hitters can become when they're up against an 0-2 count you're just hoping for a mistake somewhere near the zone that you can get the bat to but right there he was clearly anxious he was swinging when the ball left the hand Juan Yepes stands in now and watches strike one Yepes in his second season hitting third in the lineup and he was born in Venezuela two out spaces empty Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. One that ball, missed by a lot. Now 1-2. and two. That's, That's down ball. and in. Two down, nobody on. Caught him looking for the K. Three up, three down for Washington. And now the Cardinals get their first shot at it here. No score. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in St. Louis and today's starting pitcher, Jake Irvin. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure He's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight. They start to aim the baseball. But for some reason, he gets looser. The ball comes out of his hand with more life. And he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. The line to kick the pitch. And a swing and a miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. The 0-2. And delivers outside. This one in the air. On his way over. He makes the grab, and there's one down. Now we take a check of the St. Louis Cardinals lineup, and probably their most productive player so far this year, Wilson Contreras. And Boog, he's the table setter for this offense. Team leader and on-base percentage. I mean, that just gives your teammates plenty of chances to cash in and bring them around to score, man. I used to love when I had a guy out in second base or third base. Easy to get those RBIs. Game hey. after game, you know a guy like this, what he's going to provide and the opportunities that other guys are going to get in the lineup. One out, base is empty. Just exactly. missed. Just off the outside edge, two and one. That one missed. 
first pitch strike from the pitcher but then no panic at all by the hitter very patient showing good discipline now he's in the driver's seat with the three one count one down base is empty three one and he couldn't come up with it maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there pretty much gifted in first base with the quick free pass Wilson Contreras now up to the plate that's outside and that's ball one Man at first, one away. That one a little bit high, and the count is 2-0. Oh. No high fly ball out to left field. Wood drifts towards it. Snags it for the second out. Batting four. No left fielder. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Brendan Donovan. Out towards left center. Wood sizing this one up. Makes the play, and it's out number three. The cards leave one scoreless after one. Second inning set to go. Harold Ramirez at the dish. Harold Ramirez. And here it comes. That one's upstairs, ball one. Ball one. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Right through there for a strike. And that one is lifted in the air, and it stays fair. That was maybe even a little off the plate, but no problem getting the barrel to it. Man, he does such a nice job, and that's what you're supposed to do with the pitch in that location. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. No score here in the second. Swings and he pops it up near the pitcher's mound. Wind makes the grab one down. That is good. The second baseman, Ildemaro Vargas. Next to hit for the Nats, Ildemaro Vargas. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Runner on the goal. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The pitch. Swing and a miss. One and two. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. Makes the grab. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. And now up for Washington, James Wood. That one finds the corner, and that is strike one.
two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. Here at the top of the second. Hammered down the right side, but foul. Two outs. Foul ball still 0 and 2. The pitch. Inside, ball one. Three. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So one left for Washington. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's Nolan Arenado. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Irvin back to work. Just missed. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the All Star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. The pitch. That's out to center field. Under it. Hauls it in for the out. One away. That is good. And up next for St. Louis, oh. Lars Newtbar. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. And now the count is even. Gary Simmons, our plate umpire today, sort of has a reputation as a pitcher's umpire. Yeah, a little bit of a wider zone than most, I'd say. And a wide zone can be tough to deal with as a hitter because you have to start expanding what you're looking for, covering both sides. And with the stuff pitchers have today, you're just not going to have a lot of success. He slings it across, and they get the out. Batting seven, the first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around first, heading for two. And that's a double. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Man in scoring position with two away. Here's Nolan Gorman. Sliced hard but foul. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Two outs and one in scoring position. This one lifted in the air, left field, under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. So one left for the Cardinals. We'll move to the third with no score. On to the third the inning. Up National. now for Washington, Trey Lipscomb. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed but he does. First pitch misses. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed it makes the whole team that much better. Right hater deals. And that's in for a strike. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely. And I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, 
It surprised a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Now a chance for number 30. Checked his swing of the 1-0 and appeal to first. And he held up. Swing and a miss. Two balls and a strike. Out there to center. And there's two down. So the batting order turns over. C.J. Abrams digging in for the Nationals. 0 for 1 so far. That pitch gets the inside corner. That's strike one. That's in there. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Two down, nobody on. And down on strikes. And it's a three up, three down inning. Nothing doing for the offense that time. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Back here in St. Louis, now at the plate, Pedro Pajes. Pedro as he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. That pitch in for a strike. It's 0-1. Foul ball there. And he'll two. Right side, Vargas throws to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Now batting, shortstop, Mason. Wynn. Mason Wynn next up for the Cardinals. First time up was a pop out. Abrams tosses to first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Next to hit, Alec Burleson walked his first time. Fouls one off out of play, back to our left. Two outs. Check swing, went around. No balls, two no strikes. Ball, two strike. Still tied at zero, last of the third. Three. It goes down looking. And down in order go the Cardinals. And we're still knotted at zero. New inning getting started, and here's the DH for Washington. Lane Thomas. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field, but he can jump you if you make a mistake. Well, these Nats, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. 
you can't do much of anything with those locations and that's been true again today. Right hander kicks deals. Strike two. And as a pitcher when the hitters are swinging at everything you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Pitches in the dirt and it's two and two. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. The wind of the pitch. Just yeah, off the outside part of the plate. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Kicks and deals. Goes down looking. Really good battle right there. And that final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. And now it's Juan Yepes struck out looking his first time. There's a strike. Base is empty one away top half of inning number four. That one fouled off. The 0 2. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already. So this lineup hasn't had much success. Trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Now it's the Nationals cleanup hitter, Harold Ramirez. Right hey. through there for a strike. Ramirez in his fifth season, 29 years old, and he's a native of Colombia. Ah. Next offering is in for a strike. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. And that's strikeout number 100 on the year. And the Nationals gone in order. Still no score. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the DH, Wilson Contreras. John Bourbon back to work. There's your strike. And a strike in there. All right, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Next oh, pitch is outside. Wouldn't chase that time. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And the pitch. Fights it off, you'll see another. Kicks and fires. Contreras started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first. No swing. He held up. Patrick Johnson with the call there. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. And that one fouled off. Left hand hitter waits in the air fairly deep to right field Ramirez moves towards it 
Ramirez snags it on the run. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfect. Now, now. Here's and Nolan Arenado. He's Nolan. 0 for 1. Arenado. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Well, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. No, the 95 missed up top. And the count even one and one. Fought off foul. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Next offering upstairs. It's a good Two take. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. Now two away. Well, he hadn't seen that change up the entire at bat until that put away pitch. And it's pretty tough to deal with as a hitter. You're up there battling, trying to read and react with two strikes. And then all of a sudden, a pitch comes out of nowhere. And it's a good change up. It's just almost impossible to hit it when you haven't seen it. Now, here is Lars Newtbar. Grounded out his first time. And there's a strike of the outside corner. And it's 0-1. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Oh, and two now. That one out to right. Ramirez has it sized up. Brings it in for the third out. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left. We're headed to the fifth. No score. Back here at Bush Stadium, top five, John Shami with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Hebert Ruiz. And the right hander back to work. And there's the strike. You know, these Nationals just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They've got players in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. Righty delivers. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Well, anytime one of your hitters gets drilled, it catches everyone's attention in the dugout. And you know what? It kind of gets you fired up. First offering. Runner goes. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. All tied up. And we're at the top of the fifth. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. This guy hasn't thrown it very much. you got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. And that one is inside ball one. And there's a ball. The pitch. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Wood in the box now. Take strike one.
Left hand batter waits. Swung on, belted. That's back there. And brings it in at the wall. Runner tags it second, and he moves up 90 feet. Runners at the corners now. One away. Now back, the third baseman, Trey Lipscomb. Two on, one out. Next to hit for the Nats, Trey Lipscomb. Struck out swinging his first time. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. In this situation, the batter's got to know what the pitcher's trying to do to him, and that's trying to get him to hit the ball on the ground, get two for one. you got to look for something up in the zone. At worst-case scenario, you deliver the sacrifice fly. That clips the zone, and a count one and two. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Right into the play. Swing and a miss struck him out. Huge strikeout there. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. And now the center fielder. And that one fouled off. Runners on first and third, two away. Three. Swing and a miss, and that is that. A couple of strikeouts with runners on. Sometimes you got to really bear down, and he did just that. Nice job of getting out of the jam and out of the inning. And we're back. We, go. we head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. And a foul ball. You know, these Cardinals, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at-bats. And I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. They really haven't worked many deep counts or long at-bats. And that's fine if you're having a lot of success. But at this point, I think it's time to make an adjustment. And the righty deals. And another ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Smash to center, way back, and you can forget it. Home run. He made him pay for that one. Home run number 15 on the year. And the Cardinals have the lead now. It's 1 that's strike one. Oh, you just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Nobody on, nobody out. Last half of inning number five. This to center field. And he makes the catch. And there's one away. Now batting. Catcher. Here's the catcher, Pedro Pajes. Grounded out his first time.
Next offering popped in the air right field. No trouble here puts it away for the out. Two down. Up next for the Cardinals. Not shortstop. Mason yeah. Wynn next up for the Cardinals. Yeah. Singh you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good but the arm just stands out and he makes all the plays. The shortstop takes a ball and because of that big power arm is able to play a little bit deeper make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. One and one. The one one. And it's fouled away. The one two. And ball another two. ball. Two ball. Two strikes. Ripped on a line. Tracks it down for the out. And that is that. Cards on the board first with this solo blast. It's now a one nothing ball game. Back here in St. Louis, and now C.J. Abrams. Here comes a pitch. And that one clips the corner. Swing and a high fly ball, deep left field. Donovan on the move, heading back. And caught on the warning track. Not quite enough behind that one. Here's Lane Thomas, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Fastball for a strike. Going along. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. The Redbirds up by a run, and we're the top half of the sixth. Next oh, one is off the plate. Ball one. Wouldn't that chase that two. time. The 2 2. Gets a piece and stays alive. And he deals. Just outside. And the count's full. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Here's Juan Yepes. A rope into right, and that's a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Challenged him with the fastball now, right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready Harold to jump all over it. Ramirez. Harold Ramirez now at the plate. One for two. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. But with the tie and run at first base, he's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on. Drive it into a gap and score that run from first base. And a pitch. And there's a foul ball. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Boils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Two outs. Bows it back with two strikes. 
Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you got to love this battle. Just wondering who's going to blink first. Oh. That one's upstairs, ball one, one. and it's down. one and two. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers That's out there. Two. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Two, two. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. Wynn grabs it on the run. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. It's the Cardinals one and the Nationals nothing. Back here in St. Louis, where we go bottom six and stepping in for the Cardinals, Alec Burleson. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Three. Struck him out without a swing. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. No, that's not the best two strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. On the ground, out to short, Abrams sends it to first, and a couple of quick outs. The left fielder, number 33, Brendan Donovan. Two outs, base is empty. Brendan Donovan, next up for the Cardinals. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. Late that time, and it's strike two. He's in a great spot right here. Ahead in the count, 0-2. All four pitches in play right here, partner. 0-2 now. Bounce to the right. Vargas. St. Louis goes down in order. Redbirds down quietly, but they're on top, 1-0. All set for the start of the inning. And now the switch inning catcher, Hebert Ruiz. Lynn back to work. And fouled off. Next pitch is inside, and it's one and one. Double barreled action in the bullpen. John King, the southpaw, is throwing and getting that sinker dialed in. Romero, the power lefty, up as well. Looking to get the tying run on base. And that one fouled off. And a pitch. Got him swinging. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Ildemaro Vargas. And that one sliced foul. Trying to hold a one-run lead here in the top half of inning number seven. Strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. On the ground to the left. Win. And two away to start the seven. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. And now up for Washington, James Wood. 
Now just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. Swing and a ball hammered left field back there. That's down, one hops off the wall. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Now no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Pitch was away and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way, just go with the pitch. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tying run and start us over here in the late innings. Here's Oliver Malmol towards the mound, and we're going to see a pitching change here. That's it for Lance Lynn in this one. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. New now, arm on the mound for the Cardinals, Sonny Gray. Pretty big spot Sonny. he's coming into trying to strand that runner Gray. at second base, so he's going to need to make some quality pitches. He does have first open if he needs to use it. Man at second here with two away. Up now for Washington, Trey Lipscomb. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one to know. So the tying run at second. Fouled off. He was late. Offered in there for a strike, and it's one and two. Man on second, two down. Chopped on the ground. Win whips it to first on the run. Third out, and that ends the frame. Nationals leave one. They trail here, one nothing. Bottom of the inning. Now up for St. Louis. Nolan Arenado. Nolan Arenado. The right hander back to work. And a strike on the outside edge. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. In the air, out towards right center. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Here's the center fielder, Lars Newtbar. And that is in for a strike. 0-1. The pitch. And downstairs. The Nationals have some action going in the pen. Jacob Barnes getting ready to go. Ferrer, the lefty, warming up as well. Rudder at first with no outs here. And the pitch. That one ripped right center field. Back there. And it's gone. Home run. He'll circle the bases. And they add to the lead. It's 3-0. That's a swing that'll boost the win probability for sure. exactly the pitch he was looking for crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark here comes the skipper and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot Jake Irvin is done it's a three run game and we'll be back to tell you about the new arm in a minute
Now on the mound for the Nationals, Jacob Barnes. Number 59. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts Jacob. compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the bump. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. He's already homered in this game. Right through there for a strike. Barnes measures six feet two inches. He features a four seam fastball, a cutter, and he works in a changeup. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Good job to fight that one off. Right handed reliever. And now oh, one nice. and two. That to right. Ramirez brings it in with a nice run and grab. The second baseman. No now it's the second baseman, Nolan Gorman. He provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. That one hammered center field way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now batting, the catcher, Pedro. And here's the catcher, Pedro Pajes. Right through there for a strike. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-2. Bases empty, two away, but two runs are in. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Two runs for St. Louis on this blast. It's now 3-0. Back here at Bush Stadium, we go to the eighth, and now the center fielder, number 30. The, the field Nationals field. in striking field. distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And that's outside. One and oh. Action in the pen down there. Ryan Helsley, the closer, getting cranked up for a possible save opportunity. Romero also throwing. The pitch. Little chopper rolls foul. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. One down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. Foul ball. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Newt Barr moves under it. He's got it. And there's two down. The new pitcher in the game, John King. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year, so the defense should be active. And now here is Lane Thomas. Three strikeouts already. He's 0 for 3. Missed with a changeup, and that's ball one. The Nats trailing by three, and we're at the top of the eighth. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Burleson ranging back, and he makes the catch on the track. Just missed a homer that time. 
So they go quietly there. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Cardinals three and the Nationals nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now it's the shortstop, Mason Wynn. The pitch. High fly ball down the left field line. That one back there, and it's off the wall, but foul. The shortstop takes a ball. Out to short. Abrams tosses oh. the first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Now batting right fielder, Alec Burleson. And now the right fielder, Alec Burleson. There's a strike. Right through there for a strike. No, he's really working that inside corner with the cutter. I'll tell you what, I hated that pitch. So tough to get the barrel to and to keep it fair. On, Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Oh, tough night at the dish. Punching yeah, out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. Contreras. Not sure what to expect after that first pitch. Fastball for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to play is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. And a 1-1. One, one. And oh, another sorry, ball. ball. In for a strike. It's two and two. Two down, nobody on. Here are the bottom half of the eighth inning. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. But they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Pitcher for the Cardinals, Brian Helsley. Well, you see the ERA very solid, and that doesn't always tell you the whole story, but he's been really good so far this year. And a pitch. Yeah, base. Leading things off and takes a strike. Helsley is what you're looking for in a good reliever. The ball stays in the ballpark. It's so hard to square him up. At the belt and fires. They try to get him to chase on a slider down and away. There's a strike. Yeah, he stays out of the middle and, and pitches either at the bottom, at the top, on the edges. And because of that, if you do get it in the air, it's usually just a high fly ball. And when it's down in the zone, it's on the ground. The pitch. Got him looking. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Right. 
Ramirez. Batting with one down, takes a strike. Oh, and one. He's so consistent that the manager basically could look at it like he's got three outs sitting in his pocket. That shorts the game. That one down the line and foul ball. When he takes the mound, you feel like, hey, this inning is wrapped or this ball game is over. He's just that good. And you can see it in opposing hitters as well. Swings through it for the K. Down to the last out for the Nationals. This is definitely what a team yeah, likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if he can strike out the side. Hit to right, and that should do it. He's got it. Ball game. And the Cardinals claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Great pitcher's duel in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these pitchers, it really came down to a few key at-bats. This was a fun one to watch. A shutout in this one. 3-0 our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.